Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Curtis Jack. Curtis Jack was found guilty of adding um, a substance to breast milk for his baby because he didn't want to pay child support, okay? He did not want to pay child support. The baby is alive and doing well, but he tried to um, unalive it by putting antifreeze in the baby's milk. He got 50 years, 50 years. And all of those 50 years, he has to spend 40, 40 in lockup, okay? So they're not playing. In the United States of America, they're not playing, okay? He almost did that baby in because he did not want to pay child support. Now, the mother, what about the mother? For some reason, for some reason, I feel that women should also be held responsible when things like this go down, when, when they have situations like this going down. I always feel that the mother, the mother should be held, some, some, some kind of fault should be leveled against the mother for choosing a situation that ends up like it ends up. You know, they talk about people like being just because, let's say that you went to, you dropped someone to a store and you didn't know that they were doing something in the store and they came out the store and got into the car and you pulled up and then you could be considered an accessory to the crime you know you know you, you, you because you were there and you drove off and you claim me well, i didn't know what he went into the store to do he just called me for a ride i always feel as though that the same thought should be applied to females when stuff goes down when stuff hits the fan i always feel that you shouldn't look at the female in these kinds of circumstances and say, oh, well, she was a victim. No. Didn't she know whether Curtis wanted the child or not? Did she not know his feelings regarding having to feed another mouth? Did she not know? Did she not know his background? Did she never see him flare up? Did she never see an other, the other side of him? Never, ever? Never, ever, I really feel that as he spends his 40 years total, he, he got 50 years, but as he spends that time in lockup, you need the mother there to take care of the child and she has an older child. So I, I, I can see, but, but um, it's a tug and war. It's a tug and war because... I feel that women should know better. And I feel that when something like this goes down, the woman should be held to some sort of responsibility. That's what I feel. I don't know how to do it. And maybe as I talk about it more, it'll come to me because the universe knows that I want to have something more to say about this in terms of what to do with women who pick so poorly. But um, yeah, something needs to be done. Something needs to be done with regards to the female, even when she brings like a stepfather into the house and something goes down, bad goes down. I think that the women need to be held responsible for putting young children in harm's way, even if it's, you know, picking someone like Curtis Jack. I think women need to be held responsible. He got 50 years, 40, he must spend 40 before they even look at him to consider anything for him. And I think that I'm beginning to like what's happening in the United States. Again, I'm beginning to like that because I don't, not the fact that it's not a color issue, or anything like that. Don't get anything all twisted, okay? It's just that when you hurt a child, or when you hurt a female, or when you hurt people. I really think that the law should come down on you, especially if it's like black on black crime, for instance.
Can you imagine? Can you imagine him hurting a black woman? Can you imagine that? It, need, it needs to be looked at. It needs to be studied. It needs everyone needs to be pulled into the mix and, and, and held responsible. But I'm glad that if he is indeed guilty, and he did say he did it, he did plead guilty, he did, you know, admit to it. I think that the sentence is very, very, very appropriate. And, you know, he probably would never get out 40 years. 40 years, maybe, maybe not. But I think the sentencing for crimes like such is very appropriate. And if they can have it that he spends 100 years, I, I still think, I think that's really, really good because um, it's unforgivable. So it's something that's unforgivable. And because of the unforgivability of it all, I think that the partner, whoever else is part of it, should be pulled into it and something should happen something should happen even if they were to be required to do like classes or further education or doing some psychology something should happen the woman should never get off scot-free never 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 ever okay this is sherry veronica